In this video, we will discuss ladder programming to control the PID loop for our oven control system. This ladder logic example explains the control function for auto tuning and operation of the PID loop. It does not include ladder logic for all control components and safety measures. The basic ladder elements of the PID control to be covered in this video are the PID auto-tuning instruction, moving the P, I, and D auto-tune values to PID operational variables, moving the PID variable values to retentive memory, loading the PID variable values from retentive memory to operational memory on startup. The PID run loop control instruction. In rung 82, if loop 0 PID remote run bit is off and the PID 0 AT enable bit is turned on, the PID auto tuning routine will begin. If the analog module status bits are true, the auto tune 0 MV is sent to the analog channel 0 in a range of 0 to 4000 counts. The PID loop will begin auto tuning. In rung 92, when the auto tuning routine completes, the auto tune variables are moved to the PID operational variables for loop 0 in a real number format. The PID auto tune enable bit is also reset. In the XGB PLCs, the PID variables are not retained on a power cycle or a stop to run transition. Rung 119 preserves the operational PID values. The real move instruction is used to constantly move the operational PID values to retentive memory. These variables are created in K memory by the programmer. The values are constantly written to retentive memory in the event manual tuning adjustments take place during operation. On a stop to run transition or power cycle, the first scan bit enables the stored PID values to be loaded into the operational loop variables. The rung shown start the PID loop using the PID run instruction. If the auto tune enable bit is off and the PID remote run bit is on, the PID run instruction starts the PID loop. The zero in the instruction box denotes the loop number. If the PID remote run bit is on and the analog output module is functioning properly, the PID MV value is sent to the analog output module channel. A fully functional PID ladder program will use many more features like loop error detection and mode switching. HMI control, auto and basic manual tuning for loop control is covered in other videos in this series. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.